this guys is the Aguerri Hotel and Resort um, that me and my girlfriend stayed in. Um, lovely little um, hotel. Um, and now we're now entering um, Cardamena Village, uh, which is outside of the hotel. It's just down the road in the village. Um, but yeah, no, a, a lovely, uh, lovely place. Uh, walking down the streets, um, the little independent shops along as you can see um you know some of the workers the locals especially would be working you know seven days a week over 60 70 hours uh, non-stop um and that's how different it is around the world i mean small businesses that want to do well um if they're not well known they will work flat out in order to get the business uh, and incredibly friendly um in cos as well you know you'd walk into a shop they would say hello to you, you know, um, they would make you feel welcome as well, which is absolutely lovely. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, I mean, different, different parts of the world, um, and in, especially in different uh, countries. I mean, Greece is quite a large part of the world with their different islands. I mean, Kos is one of the smallest Greek islands you can visit. Um, but again, their um, infrastructure and their income... Um, especially the Greece government um, do have it hard sometimes on the locals uh, you know they they will charge them a ridiculous amount of money um, especially rent um, to run a business out there um, I mean speaking to one a couple of English uh, workers uh, who own the bar um, they needed a mean a, a minimum of um, uh, 200,000 pound uh, to even start up a business in COS and especially if you've spent all that money and yet you haven't done well in that business then you have to shut it early on uh, that's all that money down the drain really um, but a lot of shops as you can see um, are shut um, some would open later in the day some would open early in the morning uh, but in the evening it would be a whole different environment uh, a lot of music a lot of people around uh, and, and everything else which is absolutely amazing but um, anyway guys I'm going to stop talking enjoy the rest of the tour of the uh, lovely village of um, Cardamena and uh, I'll put some music in uh, this for the teacher's life okay, guys. Right. So this is Cardamata Port, um, it's about 29, 30, 30 degrees when I was recording this. Um, this is about mm, quarter to 12 in the, uh, in, in the morning. Uh, but as you can see the right hand side uh, are all the restaurants. Um, and even throughout the day, uh, all the managers front of house would try and get people to come in uh, as they want to have a successful business you know that's how it is in other countries and around the world you know they want to do well especially when tourists visit their country or better yet uh cos island and they you know they want they, they want to get people to come in um there's a restaurant along here 
uh, it might have already passed it, if not I'll point it out in just a brief moment, it's called Le Strauss um, restaurant which was absolutely lovely, you know the cuisine was out of this world um, from lovely fresh squid to uh, lovely uh, you know there was lo uh, they had lobster but they had different um, cultural foods there as well but uh, yeah absolutely stunning as you can see here uh, all the boats are uh, in port uh, and you know again people come from far and wide and they dock their boats in port and they check out the little village uh, and everything else in shop and whatnot and some people live on these boats as well that's the plus side of being abroad is you know they have this lovely water in front of them and the amazing views you can see like it's so vast uh, and then they can you know park up uh, and then uh, visit visit the lovely village so yeah I mean I do miss the holiday I have to say uh, you know going away for a week was well needed and, and everything else but uh, obviously a holiday has to come to an end um, but I'll definitely definitely do it again without a shadow of a doubt uh, me and my government have decided as well that we'll get the world map and drop a pin on anywhere in the, in the world and we would go there I think that's not a bad bad idea um, but uh, I mean you can see as well how blue that sky is I mean in the UK it's so unpredictable with the weather one minute they'll say it'll be hot, the next minute they'll say it'll be raining. They can never get it right. In Coslo it's consistent, you know, it's all the time, you know, the only time they ever have bad weather really is sort of October, November time with the rain. Um, but it's their, their dry season um, at, at the moment. Um, but, uh, I mean, you can't complain with, I mean, just look, look at it. It's just so amazing. I mean, the world is a beautiful place. Um, that sometimes people say it's the people in it that have to spoil it um, but uh, yeah no cause as a whole uh, yeah I have to say it was absolutely amazing couldn't fault it so anyway guys uh, now I come to the end of this part of the video in a minute we'll go then to the next the next bit into um, Nisaros um, which uh, is again absolutely amazing but uh, I'll uh, end me talking here and then uh, I'll join you guys again in a brief.
as guys you can see from the footage, um, this is a lovely little island, Nisaros. It's only 28 kilometres wide. Um, and you can see this little cemetery, the church, lunch date, uh, this lovely uh, restaurant and obviously the lovely canopy there as well. Um, now this is the volcano in Nisaros. It's the third largest crater in the world. Um, it hasn't erupted in 15,000 years. And uh, I mean, to be honest with you, um, I, I don't want it to erupt anytime soon. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the size of the crater, uh, it's absolutely ginormous. But um, you could smell the gases from the volcano, which um, was, was quite interesting. I mean, you can imagine the power of this thing if it was to erupt again. Um, and again, as I'm turning around the camera here, uh, you can see how vast it is in this uh, area where the volcano or the active volcano is uh, quite windy as well which was uh, quite annoying at one point I actually um, my hat blew off my head and uh, I had to run after it so that was uh, all fun and games but um, again quite even though it's windy it's quite hot uh, you wouldn't think that with um, it being windy but uh, you yeah, know it was it was a lovely experience though I mean I've never been to an active volcano in my life but uh, that uh, had some uh, some view uh, which was absolutely awesome to look at and uh, I mean apart from obviously walking around it you can imagine uh, you know the amount of tourists this place gets as well uh, ev every year um, but I didn't realize that Coz has two volcanic uh, islands um, one is Nisaros and there's another one um, I can't think of the name of that I'd have to look it up but um, you can see the little people down there uh, right up to the little crater um, or the middle part of the volcano which uh, is still active like people don't realize it's still active but they've put a little fence around it the grey patch is where the uh, entry to the uh, vol volcano is um, but absolutely insane to think that that is an active volcano and even warned you um, that the descent to the uh, the crater is at your own risk so yeah if that was to go off uh, I wouldn't want to be down there so um, but yeah so anyway guys I'm playing some more music and enjoy the rest of the footage really strong gases as well. So this is Cos Town, um, it's about a 30 minute drive from um, Cardamana um, village um, which again the bus, drive, the bus journey wasn't actually too bad and um, we were shopping around for most of the day. I mean we didn't have too long as it was a day trip so we ended about 3-4 hours um, to shop around um, but these are the side streets and everything else um, to the town. I mean the town's quite big, um, it's got a massive port to it as well and um, you'll see that in the um, the cruise that we went on uh, which uh, again you see how vast it is and how many boats are there as well but uh, again little shops along here as well um, a lot different to the village that we stayed in um, I mean the town when, if we were to go back to Coz we're definitely the town uh, is there's so much more to it than what you're seeing on this video and um, I know they've got the castle uh, I know back in I think it's about 2017, 2018, the castle had a bad fire and they stopped all tourists visiting uh, the castle. And in, but in recent years, they've allowed people to visit uh, the, the castle, which again, 
I mean, for tourists, I mean, it's such a great thing that people come out to Cos and visit the lovely town and everything else. Um, but yes, anyway, what a lovely experience that we had in the town and uh, I'll play some music here, guys. <laughs> That's a Sunseeker, they're one of the leading yacht makers in the world. They do, um, yeah, that's more than maybe three and a half million, four, four million for that. Yeah, some of these go for a lot of money. This is the lovely little island of Vathi uh, in Coz and uh, again the weather was always on our side this holiday which we couldn't complain um, but you can see the lovely little views of the port and the boats parked up there all in port uh, as we're walking into the village uh, heading off to lunch um, at this lovely little restaurant. Uh, the food wasn't too great but again that wasn't a, 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 a bother really um, and uh, you know I mean, apart from the restaurant that we headed into uh, which lovely little um, flowers outside I mean like, beautiful flowers and lovely entrance to the restaurant as well and again the side street there um, walking through it you can see the little shops there as well uh, clear blue skies 
a lot of bikes, a lot of mopeds we've noticed as well in COS. I find that a lot of the Greek islands and abroad. I uh, find it a lot cheaper to ride motorcycles than actually driving cars. A uh, little, little fun fact for you. Uh, as they're nimble as anything and they can get through the little side streets without having to worry about a car getting stuck. So, um, but yeah, I mean, COS in, in all, um, you'll find, like I said before, the the structural part of it the government tend to invest more mainland uh, greece than the islands i mean people have to try and fend for themselves i mean they have the ships coming in and out of port um to deliver supplies to the islands and everything else and you know people have to survive but you know people have over hundreds and hundreds of years have built uh, what you can see there i mean they've improved it over the years and whatnot and you know, I mean, the water, as you can see, is fresh as anything and everything else. They grow their own vegetables, you know, the plants out there as well. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And it astounds me of how the plants and everything else can withstand the heat. Um, but then that's the point. If you put those plants and trees in the UK, they would not survive. Um, but uh, you can see that little pond there as well. There's some fish in there. Um and again, another moped, like you see so many of them, it's crazy. And uh, this part, there's um, sort of a little pond there as well, I have actually fish in the inside of it. Uh, you probably see a few uh, in the water, I don't know if my camera can pick it up. Um, but there's some in there as well. Little church on, on the hill there, and then walking back through uh, towards the port where the uh, little yacht was that we were, were on for the cruise. Um, but yes, anyway guys, I'll play some more music. After we visited Vathi, um, we were able to visit the Blue Lagoon um, in the um, Aegean um, Sea, uh, which was absolutely amazing. And um, we had about 15 minutes in the water, uh, and then we had to get back on the boat in order to go on to continue the cruise. But uh, amazing water, so clear, uh, and again, the weather was on our side, but there was a few people that were sick uh, whilst on the yacht. Um, but yeah, couldn't complain though. I mean, the world, as you can see, is a beautiful place. And um, just look at that view. <laughs> uh, you can't complain. It looks like a canvas, you know, you put on a wall. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, but anyway, guys, next up is Bodrum in Turkey. This is the dream boat. Um, cost $180 million to build. It's got four levels to it, um, worth an absolute fortune. Some billionaire tycoon owns it. Um, about 40 staff on board. Um, to run it is $15 million a year um, to run it. So it's a lot of money. Very nice though. So I've arrived in Turkey as well. So this is Bodrum in Turkey, lovely 
lovely area of the world. I mean, you can't get any better than that. I mean, look at that view. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. And then got the castle ruins either side as well. Amazing view. The villas, oh, it's a holiday, I believe it in holiday, a holiday inn resort is just there. And in the far distance, you've got the private marina as well. Very impressive though. Hot as well, that's 30, 35 at the moment. And again, another lovely part of the world, Turkey. Um, now this part here is the old city ruins and um, part of the city walls um, which I'm about to show you guys. Um, absolutely awesome bit of history. These must weigh a ton. To 334 BC, these have been here. That's a long, long time. Got a lot of bit of history. We can get this anywhere else as well, but and some would argue. Egypt has more history than Turkey. Wow, look at that.
take a walk up the wall. There's a uh, bit where that clip is. There. Incredible. And that's how high my outfit is. Far and wide. An amazing view. Time to go. This part is now the old market in Bodrum and um, this is they call the fake market from bags, jewellery to accessories um, to shoes, you know, you name it. And they'll try and flog you most items and they'll try their best. Um, and, it, you know, you could walk into a shop and you'd only browse in it. They would somewhat pounce on you a little bit, um, which would be quite annoying. Um, but again, that's just the cultural side of Turkey, you know, that, that's how they do their business. You know, they, they will drop their prices in order for you to buy. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a, a handbag um, to a pair of shoes, like, you know, they will, they will try their best. Um, again, it's quite humid walking through this um, part of the, the market. And, um, you know, you've got to be careful with your bags as well. Uh, I mean, all over the world, as we all know, that pickpocketers um, work in groups. And I know this market is notorious um, to pickpocketers. So, um, yeah, you've just got to be careful sometimes. Um, but, again, you could walk into, like I said, you can walk into a shop, you're looking at an item, and you think, oh, that's quite a good price, and then you realise it's fake. So we got told that before we got into um, the town of um, Bodrum uh, by the um, local guide. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, again, um, amazing part, but yeah, it's just a shame they have the fake market. So. So guys, that is the end of the video. This is my our review, I mm -hmm. should say, more than anything. She's a bit nervous because she's not she's never done camera before. Um but um, the holiday was amazing, like, I, I couldn't fault it at all. I mean, the odd occasion, um, there would be a few hiccups here and there, with one being the cruise um, on the Wednesday, the bus didn't turn up, nope. which was annoying. Didn't tell us the right time either. Yeah, that was annoying. Um, but then they then resorted out to put us on the Sunday cruise, and also the they tax you on the island of Koz. Mm -hmm. um, it's 10 euros. Um, and you have to pay for aircon as well. And aircon as well, which was fantastic um which again jet two holidays didn't tell us um prior to um to turning up um on the uh, early hours of the 26th 
um, about one, one o'clock in the morning we arrived at the hotel. Um, but apart from that, the, the weather was always on our side. Um, not like England when it's unpredictable. Um, you know, it was always hot there, which was always, always a plus. But um, it didn't go quickly, which I thought normally most holidays for some people go, it, it, you know, it flies by. Um, but this right this now. one didn't, yeah. Um, but the town um, we were in uh, was 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 amazing. Uh, Cardamina. Cardamina. Cardamana. Cardamana. I think that's how they pronounce it. Anyway, um, the, uh, however you pronounce it, um, was was amazing. Um, and then we visited Cos Town, the main bit of the island, which was only about a forty minute bus, bus journey, journey from our village. Um, which um, again, they the locals are so friendly. You you can't can't fault them at all. You go into a shop and they say hello to you, and they want you to not buy as such, but they you know they want you to enjoy not your pushy. experience and not push it. Yeah, I'd say that. Um, I mean, it's our first couples holiday, so <laughs> I bit, think we did pretty well. We we did, we did we did we did pretty well, which was nice. I mean, I thought it would. Because it's quite daunting for some people who go on holiday for the first time with their partner and they think, oh, what's it going to be like? Is it going to be hard? Is it going to be easy? But no, it was it was all right. Yeah, that was good. At least we didn't did come well. back with any grey hairs, so that was all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, how, how did you find the holiday? I loved it. Mm. It was really good. Yeah. I would go back. I recommend it to anyone. Mm. So if you're ever looking for a holiday, go to Cos. There we are. You heard it here. You heard it here. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to go to Cos, I mean, hands down, it's a beautiful island. I mean, it's not the most popular of Greek islands. Crete Corfu. and Corfu are the top two. Um, and obviously mainland Greece got roads that are the popular tourist mm -hmm. attractions. But Cos, a little island. Um, it's tiny. It, it's, it's lovely. I mean, you have to see it to believe it. I mean, from the video you guys have seen um the pictures and the videos um it was uh, absolutely amazing i mean from going from cos to the first day trip we went on to Nisaros to the volcano um, i would also highly re recommend topping up on your sun cream yeah because you got majorly sunburn and majorly. just a little bit just a little bit um but apart from that i mean the island of Nisaros that was only 28 kilometers um in distance that's not a very big island but again um it was a volcanic the, island. Volcanic, yeah. Well there's two volcanic <laughs> islands in Cos. Um the um Aegean Sea. Mm -hmm. There's two islands situated, one being Nisaros, and I I don't know the other one. I'll have to put it in the comments below. Um there's two volcanic um islands, which the Nisaros one we went to Hadn't that been gone off in so, fifteen thousand yeah. years. So that that was amazing, like, and you could really see the magnitude of, like the the like everything else, which was absolutely amazing. Um, it's the third largest third largest crater in the world, which I thought was quite amazing, considering mm. when you have, you have to see it to believe it. I mean, video and photos don't really justify it. Um, and then after we did the um. The volcano we had a tour of um Saros, the little village um which the only way Beautiful. to get yeah absolutely i couldn't again fault that one i mean in order to get on and off the island you have to take a boat um there's no helicopter pickups there's no planes there's nothing like boat that taxis, so anyway. boat taxis yeah um and then when we went on the um again cruise on the sunday okay. um that was again amazing experience got soaked along the way but that that was absolutely fine um and made made the most of it and um when the blue lagoon yeah the blue lagoon was amazing like you it know literally the clear the clearest water you'll, you'll ever see i mean you don't get it like in england where it's murky horrible water um pure blue but pure blue water yeah it was like all the island though, wasn't it? You could literally see. Oh, all the, the island, yeah. It was, yeah, very, very clean. And again, the clean, cleanliness on the island of Cos was very, very good. Um, I mean, Cos Town when we went there. No litter. There's no litter at all. And no they had graffiti. these. Um, they're like benches you could charge oh, your, your phone. Your phone, solar panel yeah. benches. And that, again, we need that over here, but yeah. don't get enough sunshine for that. <laughs> um, but overall, um. The last one was when we went to Turkey in Bodrum, 
that was on the last day well not the last day the second to last day we went and uh, so rude. turkish people not being racist but in an honest opinion they're not the most friendly of people and they force you to buy that is the reality of it um but again different cultures they, they come with um sort of different attitudes and whatnot but uh, the the holiday for seven nights um i mean prices i'll go into it if people want to book for next year or if you want to do later this year depends where you want to go we booked in january and for two night uh, for t- two people seven nights bed and breakfast uh, at the um again yeah, yeah. hotel and apartments <clears throat> um, that was 1560 that's not including that's not including your insurance that was 45 via jet 2 not including the seats and then the seats you have to pay for as well for the flight um to and fro and also um spending money spending money your travel money as well which in total the holiday was about 3000 um but then that including the excursions as well excursions i mean if you want to add that on top as well you're probably topping maybe three to shy of three and a half thousand i would say yeah something like that yeah but for a seven day holiday um bed and breakfast i mean we're eating out most nights mm-hmm. well basically all, day. All, yeah every every single evening um until we left we were eating out which was amazing the food was out of this world um i mean you don't have to be in a popular postcode to have amazing food in my no. opinion i mean one restaurant the le strauss um i'll put the restaurant in the description guys you go and check it out um the guy there alban yes alban the manager absolutely lovely guy you know for customer service it was like 10 out of 10 you know food, and 10 out of 10 as food well. amazing trying a whole new cuisine you know the whole fresh octopus um crab claws, crab claws. um they do lovely um a um gyros gyros yeah, gyros. Gyros. Um, if we're not dish. saying that right, then please let us know. <laughs> um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, you know, the, the, the food, you have to experience it for yourselves to appreciate it. Um, pizza was also really good. Yeah, pizza yeah. was out as well. Fresh dough, you know, everything's fresh out there. Fresh, fresh orange lemonade. juice. Fresh lemonade. Like, yeah, absolutely amazing. We ate good for the whole week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, if you want to go, I'd go. That's <laughs> the best way to put it. So... Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe to keep up to date with my latest videos on YouTube. And yeah, anyway, guys.